This is the Louisiana Texas state line. So somewhere back out there, a couple hours away, Ida is spinning this traffic coming out of Louisiana into Texas. And this is one of the first stops you can make when you cross the state line. It's just a rest area. It's not real crowded right now where we're shooting, but when we got here earlier today, there were cars pulling in, cars pulling out. There are people with campers. There are people with motor homes. Some of them don't know how long they're going to stay. Some of them told me they might actually even stay right here for the night, hoping that they can get back and see what's left of their homes. This was really a last minute decision we found out for a lot of people just this morning. Yeah, it, it, this morning at two o'clock, we were actually up with the little one. And when they said it was a four, we like, well, I don't know. And then when we woke up at seven, we like, I was getting a bunch of texts from family and they're like, y'all gotta get out, y'all gotta get out. I just talked to the Red Cross here on the Gulf Coast. They don't have any shelters that are set up right now, but they expect that they are likely going to need to. They're waiting to see what the storm does so they can assess where evacuees went, where the most people are, where the greatest need is. So those shelters, that information is coming. They said there is absolutely a 100% need for volunteers right now. They don't have enough of those, and they expect that they're going to need more in the coming days, maybe the coming weeks.